of the day at the Tyneside Cinema on Tuesday, we saw Goodnight Mommy. Yes, we did see Goodnight Mommy. So Goodnight Mommy is an Austrian film that they have submitted for their best for the best foreign film category yeah. at the Oscars, uh, directed by Severin Fiala and Veronica Franz. It basically, uh, it's summertime and it's in the lonely countryside house in the woods. There's two nine-year-old twin brothers called Lucas and Elias. They're waiting for their mother to come home. Mm. She's sort of an, an, a, like a, a relatively famous anchor in their country. TV presenter. TV presenter, little TV anchor in, in, in the country. Mm. Uh, they're waiting for their mother to come home. She's had cosmetic surgery, and when she comes home, she's covered in bandages. She's had very major reconstruction surgery on her face. However, she's not acting anything like she was before, and they start to spend that she's not their actual mother now it's it's really 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 slow burning yeah i think that's the best uh -huh. way to see it like you 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 yeah we were waiting for the payoff you're waiting for something to happen i mean the, the, mm. the, 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 i mean like i think the, the intrigue is enough I think. no 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 and it's a good intrigue it's it's not like lazy intrigue mm. like i mean there's a there's a lot of the film that you just have to get into and, and realize just like you're waiting for the payoff then you can guess that there is a main twist i know there's been a lot of the, the marketing based around this mm. and you do kind of guess it very early on i didn't but I mean, it's fair enough, but I mean, I, I guessed it pretty early, but that doesn't detract at all because it's very much about the story and how that develops because it is a very slow burn. And when it does get to the more extreme moments, and obviously we can't see anything about the twist because no. to see that would do take power away from it, deprive it of its power. Yeah. But it is very much a film for extreme horror fans. There is a lot of really visceral horror and a lot of really gratuitous horror, but none of it feels cheap or like poorly earned. It feels like a really slow burning horror that, that is really, really earned in, in the way that it does develop its story and, and the characters and, and, the, and the main and the leads are all... You never really know where sort of the, where, where it's going to lead with the characters and who's really... You know, yeah. you, you, we can't really say much more because then yeah. it would spoil it. But it is a, a very much an existential struggle for identity and the trust between the mother and the twins and the story of all that. It's really beautifully shot. I really loved some of the cinematography. And within that, it's just, it is a really, really horrific watch. It is probably one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever seen. Hmm. Like, sounds, um, it sounds similar to M. Night Shyamalan's last film. Uh, was it called The Visit? Yeah. The Visit. Well, it sounds yeah. similar in concept. But, I, you know, I, like, I was going to say Shyamalan, being in, the main character Shyamalan and, in terms of the twist, but... It's yeah, got but a bit it, it, it. honestly, it's it's easily one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. I know there's been comparisons with them, um, the reflecting skin and uh, funny games funny by Hanager, but um, most of all, it is just. I mean, in the cinema, there was gasps and like it's what, probably one of the most over the top reactions from a cinema crowd we've ever mm. been in, and probably the most standout at the Tyneside since probably Catch Me Daddy last year, yeah. which is on on the 26th of March, film four. Yeah, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. So get that watched. But yeah, I mean, it's just, it's it's really uncomfortable, really nerve wracking, and when it gets to the last half an hour, it's gripping. And it's probably one of my favourites of the year. I agree. Some points that I want to make aside from the film. Blonde twins, that's creepy. Like these are ni like nine year old twins, ex identical twins, blonde hair. It, there's just something creepy about that. And I know Kermod said last week he thinks twins are creepy as a rule. But in this film, yeah. especially. Yeah, like, twins can yeah, um, it, the, the entire film is just spent ratcheting up the angst and the. Oh, yeah. it's, re it's really uncomfortable. And I think. Uh, aside from the fact that it's very uncomfortable, the people who walked out, like somebody walked out like five seconds before the end. Really? That's rude. <laughs> and, like, you know, you, you see. Well, like, like five you, seconds before the twist or five seconds before the before credits the end. Roll? Like, they must have had enough and, like, right, I'm going to go. But, like, why not just wait? Because it's so in inconsiderate, I thought. Like, when you have a film that's got such an ending like that, and it ends, and you've got that brief moment before the credits start, yeah. and it's silent. We were, like, sort of robbed of that moment by this guy who decided the to worst walk out. So, whoever you were, out. on Tuesday afternoon, good night, mommy, I hate you. Because but you ruined that moment for me. A guy behind us who was, like, sighing oh. a lot. Like, really deep sighs. Like, 20-second like, sighs. Yeah, like, and then... Uh, try, like, try and do a sigh now. Like, as long as you can. <sighs> That's the best we can do. This guy managed to get one for about 20 seconds, like... Yeah. <sighs> That's the best yeah. I can do. Yeah, like it was so annoying. But anyway, so, and, and, what, and what was his? So why was he sighing it? Like just like little, I suppose, little plot contrivances and stuff. And, that, and that behind, he didn't agree behind with. us, there was two people who were constantly like saying, "Oh, I bet, I bet this isn't this and that's going to happen there." Like, "Oh, I bet, I bet that's happening." Like they've never seen like, a film before. Yeah, they've never seen. So I mean, I mean, film ex like film experience of it aside. Mm. That, I don't know. Yeah, I think you liked it, it. it. Yeah, I, I liked it because it, it had that sort of experience to it. Those negative ones aside, I think if it was a room full of people who were enjoying the film, I'd have. Yeah. not had that complaint but as a film goes it's very uncomfortable and uh. very well put together I'd highly recommend it, it it's thunderously tense and really it actually is one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever seen and like a, a refreshing uh, horror that's actually scary uh -huh. as well like I'm, I'm, st I'm still like creeped out by it now yeah like, uh, yeah it's it's just really really a good achievement in horror if you get a chance to see it at the time said cinema please do that's good night mommy it's a 15 and it is in Austrian so it's subtitled but it's it's very good. Yeah. It's German, isn't it? The, yeah. the language is German. Language is German. Yeah.
That's good night, mommy. Uh, should we move?